Okay, so we're going to look at the deadlift exercise here. Uh, quite a complex movement, excellent for working loads of different muscles. So we're going to be working the lower body, we're going to be working massively through, through the trunk, including the back muscles as well. We want to think about keeping the shoulders stable, keeping the knees stable, and the body works together. There's a lot of variations of the deadlift, so this is just going to cover the basic deadlift, okay? If I do prescribe you a variation of the deadlift, that will be on a separate video, it'll have a different title. Okay, so this is just the basic deadlift. I'm going to demonstrate with some hand weights. It can be done with a barbell, it can be done with hand weights, or it can be done without any when you're practicing the movement. But I'm just going to demonstrate today with some hand weights. So from the side with this one, we want a similar stance to what you would have for a squat. You want to think about the shoulders being into the back pockets, the weights just in front of the thighs. Now we are going to hinge back from the hips, but instead of lowering the hips, you begin to hinge lowering the trunk forward, keeping the back flat, that's the most important thing. You don't have to reach the floor, but as you reach the point where your spine is long, you're going to drive up through the hips, squeezing the glutes as you lift. So again, it's a small hinge back, and the trunk comes forward, the weight is staying nice and close to the legs, my back's nice and flat and I've reached the peak of my movement. So I'm going to exhale and drive back up. So doing that a little bit quicker on the pace, hinge back, coming down into that flat back position, drive up, hinge down, soft bend in the knees, drive up, okay? So from the front, just so you can see along the body, hinge from the hips, the chest hinges forward, the back's nice and flat, and then we drive to the top. It takes quite a bit of practice. If you wanted to practice without the hand weights, first of all, just practice that hinge movement. So think hinge from the hips, bringing the chest forward, keeping the back flat, and then drive through the glutes. So again, hinge, point engage, back flat, shoulders stable, and drive. So if you do want to practice the hinge first to get that movement of the hips going back with the chest and the trunk coming forward, is that practice. Get everyone sure of this on our one-to-one -one sessions. Make sure to highlight it and then I can go through with you in person.